Hey, Shalom Israel, Most High Christ bless you. Hey, it's that time again. We need you to subscribe to the IUIC Phoenix YouTube page, all right? So make sure you go ahead and subscribe right now. We need your help. Shalom. My name is Richard, I said. I'm Taylor. Taylor, nice Taylor to meet you, brother. So this is your family right here, right? Okay, all praises. Yes, yes, so yes. you understand that you're an Israelite according to this Bible. I only came to one, one for one, one thing. Uh -huh. And I've been I've been searching for y'all. Are you recording that? Okay, I've been searching for y'all for months. Brother. Well you found us. All uh, praises. Hey, all praise. I just wanna I just wanna come to correct you on, on the oh. You're here to correct yeah. us. Thanks for coming. Uh -huh. only I'm listening to you right now. Okay, Go ahead. Is to enlighten you all that you are in error if you're saying that Revelation, that's the description of Jesus. Okay, let's read it again. Hey, right, brother. So, so your whole purpose, you came for four months, you've been looking for us, right? About four months. About four months, right? You've been searching high and low, looking for us, just to tell us that the black image of Christ that we teach uh -huh. that is according to the Bible is wrong. Man, not probably years. Years. Probably years. And how long have you noticed this white image of Christ being pushed in the church? Man. Oh, oh man. man, since the 90s? Since, since, since 90s. Since the 80s, yeah, 90s. Let me ask you this, Brother Taylor Fleming Jr. Senior. Have you seen, oh, you a senior? Yes, sir. Okay, Brother Taylor Fleming Sr. Yes, thank you. Have you ever went to a church, a white man's church, or any church, a black church, and told them that this image that they have hung up in their church, in their house, in their Bible, in their pamphlets, all around the world, have you ever disputed this image? I never disputed this Never disputed this image. My name is Richard I'm Taylor. Taylor, nice Taylor to meet you, brother. So this is your family right here, right? Okay, all praises. Yes, yes, so yes. you understand that you're an Israelite according to this Bible. I only came to one, one for one, one thing. Uh -huh. And I've been I've been searching for y'all. Are you recording that? Okay, I've been searching for y'all for months. Brother. Well you found us. All, all praises. Hey, all praise. I just wanna I just wanna come to correct you on the on the oh. revelation. You're here to correct yeah, us. Correct All right, give me, read that for us. In love. This is the book of 1 John, chapter 4 and verse 2. Revelation. Oh. Revelation. 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 Hereby, we, hereby know ye the Spirit of God. Every spirit that confesseth that Jesus Christ is come in the flesh is of God. So the Bible says, if you confess that Christ comes in the flesh, you're of God. Right. What flesh did Christ have on him? My question is... What right? flesh did no, Christ no, no, have no, on you, it? You, you misunderstood me. You uh, misunderstood okay. me. My, okay. My purpose for coming... Uh -huh. my only purpose I'm listening to you right coming, now. Go okay, ahead. ...is to enlighten you all that you are in error if you're saying that Revelation, that's the description of Jesus. Okay, let's okay. read it again. It's read it again. From Revelation. Hereby know ye the Spirit of God. Every spirit that confesseth that Jesus Christ is come in the flesh is of God. So the Bible says if a man is able to confess that Christ come in the flesh. All of us here are flesh. All flesh have a description. Some of us are light. Some of us are white. Some of us are dark and blue black. Now, Christ is a man. He came on the earth in flesh. What color was the flesh of Christ? What color was the flesh of Christ? Oh, brown. Okay, brown. So you you understand that? Brown. All right, let's read it and let's read it out of the scriptures. I ain't gonna say black. Right. None of us are black. Right. We all brown. Right. This is the book of Revelation, chapter one and verse one. Uh -huh. The revelation of Jesus Christ. So the Bible is giving us the revel the revelation. It's going to reveal something to us. Yes. You understand? Yes. Read on. Which God gave unto him to show unto his servants. So God gave that image, this, this revelation right here, to show to his servants, meaning the children of Israel. Read. Things which must shortly come to pass. Verse 10. 
I was in the spirit on the Lord's day. So John, the revelator, said he, he was in the spirit yes, on yes, the Lord's day. Yes, what does it mean to be in the spirit? To be with God, to see. To uh, you don't even have a clue. To, to be, let's go. Okay. Let's let's get that for him. Okay. okay. We, no, we, we, we're going to help. You say you're coming to correct us. Yes, but we're yes. going to read the Bible yes, yes. and see what the Bible we says. Oh, yeah. This is the book of John, chapter 6, and verse 63. Bring it out. It is the Spirit that quickeneth. It. So it's the Spirit of God that quickeneth. It. What does that word quicken it mean? I ask you a question, brother. What does the word quicken it mean? We cannot read without understanding. If you're reading something, you need to understand what you're reading. Okay. So you don't ignore a word, not because you don't know it. Hold on to that one. Hold on to you that don't that ignore a word, word because you that. don't know what I'm it means. You understand? Yeah. You might look it up and okay. find out let what it know, means. Let you know, like shake you, like bring your attention no, to it. Ray, it means to change. Okay. <laughs> it is the spirit that quickens. So the spirit is going to change the mindset of a man. It's going to change you to what? To come into and to be in sync with what God says. Right. The flesh profiteth nothing. Uh -huh. right. The words that I the words that I speak unto the what? you. The what? The, the words that I speak unto you. The words. God said the words that you speak unto us. They are what? They are spirit and they are life. So when John was in the spirit, he was in the words of God. Yes. Now let's get back to it. Yes. Yes. This is the book of Revelation, chapter 1 and verse 10. I was in the spirit on the Lord's day and heard behind me a great voice as of a trumpet saying i am alpha and omega the first and the last and what thou seest right in a book so god said to john what you see when you turn around that voice that he heard he says right in a book now read verse 12. verse 12 and i turned to see the voice that spake with me so john turned he turned around and looked with his eyes, physically. Yes. You understand what I'm saying? Yes. 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 And being turned, I saw seven golden candlesticks. Uh -huh. And in the midst of the seven candlesticks, one like unto the Son of Man. So who is the Son of Man? Jesus. Jesus Christ. So when John turned around, he saw Christ. Yes. So what did John do next? He wrote it in this book. He wrote on the description of the man he saw. Now let's read. Clothed. And yes, and John is already familiar with how Christ looked. Yeah, you understand? He, he so that's why he knew. He that's why he knew exactly. that when he turned around, exactly. he saw the Son of Man. We're getting there. Right. We're getting there. We're getting there. Clothed with a garment down to the foot, and girt about the paps with a golden girdle. His head and his hairs were white like wool. So now John is going into the description of the man that he saw. Can I say something now? Now he said his head uh -huh. and the hair that is on his head where's 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 the white on his head Come you, don't on, see, you don't see any white on keep his head reading, keep reading keep reading ask you a question brother where's the white on his do head? you not see any white on that man's head right i don't there? see any white on his head all right i see his hair white right. isn't that see, white brother I see, I see his hair white isn't that white Come on, his you. head and his hair are white white like wool. So when you said you can't. So when her. John turned around, he said the man that he saw, his head and the hair head. that was on that head his was head. white his like head. wool. So now head. God is saying, John is saying that Christ's hair is white and woolly. <laughs> Read. No, as not. white as no, snow. And that hair is completely no, white. Because no. when we have completely white hair, no, look at my no, brother right no, here. No, no, He's no, going great. No, no, That's a woolly hair can I, can I and no, it's getting to that can point I, can I where we say it is white. When can I speak? When can I you speak? Have a question? I, I, I don't All have right. a question. I have Go a ahead. statement. You have a statement. I have a correction. All right, let's finish the scripture, okay. and then you can give whatever statements you want. Okay. All right. All right. That's fair enough. As white as snow. So, right so, so Christ here was completely white and woolly. Because guess what? We get wool from the sheep. The sheep here is curly. You understand? Great. And his eyes were as a flame of fire, and his feet like unto fine brass so now john spoke about his eyes having a flame of fire uh -huh. that prophecies in uh genesis 49 mm -hmm. 
where Christ's eyes are going to be red with wine. Does did Christ drink wine? It was it, it, where does it say wine? Let's get it. Let's get it. What is it? No, 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 no. no, no on no. that scripture. On that scripture. It says his eyes shall be red. No, no. In that scripture, Ray. what you're reading, let's stick to the We're going to the prophecy right now. Oh, it is a prophecy go. that there was being go. repeated. I'm talking about Ray. this scripture, man. This is the book of Genesis, oh. chapter 40. The, the whole book is in unison. Yes, sir. Hey, brother. So, so your whole purpose, you came for four months. You've been looking for it. Right? About four months. About four months, right? You've been searching high and low, looking for us, just to tell us uh -huh. that the black image of Christ that we teach uh -huh. that is according to the Bible is wrong. And let me tell you what. Is that correct? That's incorrect. Oh, it's incorrect. I'm going to let you speak okay. and explain yourself. Okay. Yeah. I, what I want to do is to let you know that I see you all on Facebook, Instagram, and everything, and, and I'm all for you except when it comes to Revelation, how you describe Jesus. The book says that his hair and his head was white like snow. Doesn't mean- So he had a white, white face and white hair. No, no, head, listen. His listen, hair was white. Listen, listen, listen. His hair and his head was white like wool. So his hair was white and his head was white. Now listen. Is that what you're saying? Now listen, yes. Okay, his head, okay. He's white hair right and head. a white head, but got it's, it. It's not talking See, this is what's happening. Uh -huh. You're taking the glory from God and putting it on us, man, okay. flesh. This is not about the glory of flesh. This is about the glory of God, Jesus being in a glorified state. When so we explain the so when, explain when, how we got the image wrong, though. When, uh, okay, I'll explain so explain that. how we got because you came okay. about the okay. image, right? Yes, yes, yes. So explain the yes. image and how we got it wrong. How you got it wrong is the scripture says his head. And his hairs was white like wool. So what does that mean to you? To me, that means he was glorified. Okay. He was, sh you know how we, we can look at each other and say, man, you glowing today, brother. Brother, you, you got that glory. Oh, so, so he had, so he had no, glory. Listen. He was glorified so, with so, white woolly he, hair. He was, no, 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 no. Stop saying woolly. Stop saying The Bible woolly. says woolly. The Bible said, describes woolly as a color, not a texture. Oh, so it's not a texture. It's, it's a not, color. It's a color. So now he don't even have woolly hair. No, I didn't say. That, so get your story story. straight, brother. No story Does straight. he have woolly hair or no? I don't know. This, you don't know, or yes or no? According to scripture, no. He don't have woolly hair. According to scripture, according to the scripture, no. He don't have woolly hair. According what to kind scripture, of no. so what kind of hair does Christ have? White. So he has white hair. Yes. So that's it. It's it's describing white. snow and wool. No. And they both mean white. White, white like wool. Like wool. White like as wool. white as snow. Not not hard. So, so hold like on. Wool. So hold on. Not hard like wool. So it's saying not rough like wool. Right, right. It's white I, like it's wool. It's white like wool. Glory. So he has Glory. white hair like wool. Yes. As white as snow. Yes. So it said yeah. it's white like wool white. and it's white like snow. Why exactly? Okay, so your skin, your skin is brown like coffee and brown like pants. Okay, so come on. All Christ's hair was white. Okay, it was, it, go ahead. In heaven. Right, in heaven. Know. Because John said it's, it's, he didn't look like he didn't he have a before. he didn't have a texture. Like the brother said he, he didn't have a texture. Jesus. I'm just trying to get an understanding oh, no. why you got a, uh, why you traveled four months to look for us just to right. tell us that image is wrong. So I want to I want you to get what you need to get out. All right, brother. Because that hey, four months is a long time, thank brother. Thank you, thank you. Uh, you know what I'm but saying? You and you sent, got you got your you, family here when too. You, when you sent by God, it's just so, small. It's right. So so God sent you to yes. correct us. Yes. On the image. Yes. Okay. It's going everywhere, and, it, and that's error. Okay. And people need to give the glory to God instead of skin. Uh huh. But it's not about skin. It's about Jesus being in a glorified state. That's the. That's why his face, his head, and his hair was white like wool. Wooly. And okay. We'll get, and we'll get let's, to the feet. Let's. I'll explain the feet. So the to feet. You as well. When it explains the feet. Yes. It's saying. It's saying something other than. His feet was burned in a furnace and he was a dark uh, skinned man. Yes, it is. Okay, so what was it saying? It's saying that if you read the scripture according to what it really says and not skip in line like the brother said over there, not don't skip a word, it said his feet was as fine brass. Uh -huh. Don't skip fine and don't skip brass and put bronze, bronze there and don't put bronze there as if it was brown. It said his feet was as fine brass uh -huh. as if burned in a furnace. What does that mean is for fine brass, that is a process that fine brass needs to go to. If any of you Google fine brass, you'll see it looks more like you're trimming on your on your garment. Okay. It's not going to be the colors as, 
Did you Look, Google if, fine brass burned? If you listen, fine bread, that's a method of it. That's a method in which you get fine brass. If you Google fine brass, you will get fine brass the color of this gold. Again, Jesus was glorified. He was glowing. He was in a glorified state, so his feet was more shiny. His feet was more like gold or 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 silver more. Me, not brown. Let me ask brother. you this question, brother. Come What's on. your name? Taylor Fleming Sr. Brother Taylor Fleming Sr. Yes, sir. Right. So how long have you noticed we've been teaching this black Jesus? Man, I, probably years. Years. Probably years. And how long have you noticed this white image of Christ being pushed in the church. Oh, oh man. Bring it out. Bring it out. Hey. Oh, can I, let me ask you. I've noticed that I've been, since I came into Salvation, brother. That's wrong. How long? Too. How long is that? That's wrong. But how long is that? Oh, I can't. Oh, man. Since the 90s? Since, since 90s. Since the 80s. Yeah, 90s. Let me ask you this, brother Taylor Flemings Jr. Senior. Have you seen? Oh, you a senior? Yes, sir. Okay, brother Taylor Fleming Sr. Yes, thank Have you. you ever went to a church, a white man's church? or any church, a black church, and told them that this image that they have hung up in their church, in their house, in their Bible, in their pamphlets, all around the world, have you ever disputed this image? I never disputed this Never disputed this image. Never disputed the image because you got hatred for your own people, brother. You got hatred for your own people. Shame, 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 shame. Now, now, let's get the understanding because you don't have no understanding to dispute. Now, let's get, let's get John 5 and 10, 1 John 5 and 10. I I'll, I'll let you speak, when brother. I I'll let you speak. Was you, you was a kid, a but you, you haven't. How, how old are you now? You 50, 40? I ain't trying to. I, I no like 40, 50? No, no, so you I ain't been a kid for 30 asking, years. You asked me that. And you never you. once. You asked You've me never me once wow. disputed a white image of Christ. You come up here. You come up here with hatred of your own skin, brother. And your own people. This is what you, you got. Black folks to, to hell. This, this is, is the book you, of 1 John, chapter 5, and verse 10. Bring it out. Come on, Brother Taylor, don't go nowhere. I Read. Go he that believeth he on the Son of God yeah. has witness, witness in himself. If you believe on the Son of God has the witness of himself. Read. He that believeth not God has made him a liar. If you don't believe the depiction of what God gave of his Son, you make him a liar. Read. Because he believeth not the record that God... Whoa, whoa, whoa. Because he believeth not. He be, he be, hey, you know Judas gave Christ a kiss to show love. And that right. didn't mean nothing. Right. You know, you got you got your daughters and your grandsons dressed out of order in sin. You know you got your granddaughter with an idol on her neck. That's hatred, brother. You can't show love by showing kisses. Love is keeping the commandments to the Bible. You didn't prove nothing. Prove what, you prove, what you prove, what you prove is you got hatred for your own people. That's why you're walking away. That's why you're walking away. You're walking away because you look like a liar, brother. You look like you got hatred for your own people. If I hated you, I wouldn't be here. Because he, you, I wouldn't be here. Hey, brother, you see how the contradiction in your spirit, you know what you hate? You know what? He don't hate us. You're right. He hates Christ the Black Messiah. That's who you hate. You hate the Black Messiah. And Christ is a black man according to the Bible. It's good. It's true. It's true. But you came to dispute the truth of God. Just so you can defend your enemy's Christ. You ain't never went against it. You ain't never went against it. But what you do, you spent four months searching us to go against a black a man, man. You with woolly hair. You, see this. you know what that does? You see this. That makes our women hate their skin, hey, their, the right. brothers right. hate themselves, right. and you love your enemies. He's nothing. And you love your enemies. We what He's you got. This is just a symbol he, of the faith. These, he that the, believes the cross is a symbol of the faith. Get the John 6, read. A symbol of the faith. Where's that at in the Bible? The Brother Taylor Fleming, senior. It's Brother Taylor Fleming Sr., where this is a cross, a of the is a symbol of faith found in the Bible. Don't be Can you show it? 
Don't give God. You ain't got no it. understanding. You know best. why? Because you don't, don't believe in Christ glory. as a black man, give according God to the Bible. The Read. It's this is the book of John, place. chapter it's 7, God. and verse 38. He that don't believes on me. You know what? You got the spirit of Judas on you, brother. Listen. Judas was a traitor, Listen. and he gave Christ a kiss. It's not about flesh. And you over here it's giving kisses because you're a traitor to your own nation, brother. We, no matter what he that believes on me, of God as says, the scripture there is no has good said, thing in the flesh. out of his belly no good shall flow rivers of living water. It doesn't matter what color it is. Water. Give the, the glory body to says, God. He it's that believeth on me as the glorified. scripture has With said, his out of his belly shall flow rivers of living water. What does that mean? You don't have much understanding. Bro, you got hatred for your people, you got hatred for your family, and you got hatred for Christ, the black Messiah. You don't have love, you have nothing but hatred, brother. Read that again. He that believeth on me as the scripture. Brother, you just said a cross is a way to show faith to God. Did you not say that? I did not say that. You just said it was a piece I of faith to serve. Yes, you did. If you wasn't hollering, you would have heard. Read Isaiah 42 and 8. He tried to pull me back. No, God is this pulling is you back to correct this you with the word. This is what I said. I said the cross Isaiah 42 is and 8. a symbol of the faith. He said it's I a said, symbol. Oh, no. he said of the, faith. the cross is a symbol is of the faith. Of the faith. And that's how you want to It's a symbol Jesus. of the faith. Read the what you cross. got. This is the book of Isaiah. That's chapter all. 42 it doesn't matter. verse 8. It's just a symbol. It means I am the Lord. That is my name. Love y'all. And my glory will I not give to another. His glory will he not give to another, Brother Taylor. Read. What's neither my there? praise to, to graven image. Not. Neither my praise to graven images. Read. Exactly. Bring it out. Oh, why are you walking away, Brother Taylor? I thought you had smoke for us. Yay! You spent four months looking for us, and as soon as you get cut, you run away. It's done. As soon as you get, I know it's done because you got cut. You, it's done because you got cut. You've been shown that you a traitor. You got hatred for the real Christ, and you hate your family. Judas gave a kiss to Christ, and he, and he put Christ to death. You got hatred, brother. You ain't got the real love. Hey, this is what the scripture says about what you're doing. How you gonna look for us for four months and then run away when the truth come out? Oh, hey. Read. This is the book of Proverbs, chapter 28 and verse 1. The wicked flee when no man pursue it. And since the scripture said what? The wicked flee when no man pursue it. The scripture say the wicked flee when no man pursue it. Ain't nobody running after you. Nobody chasing you, but what you doing? You running from the power of God right now. You're running from the praise and glory of God right now. Because you're the wicked. You're the wicked, brother. You got your kids and your grandchildren in idolatry. You got your family dressing out of order. And you have no understanding because you don't believe in Christ as the black man. The black Messiah, brother. Read, what you get. Read it again. The wicked flee when no man... Hey, you know what weapon formed against you has prospered? Christianity. Christianity. The white man's understanding of the Bible has prospered against your soul and your family. You ain't got real love. You got hatred. Read. But the righteous are bold as lions. But the righteous are what? Bold as a lion. Who's the king? Right. Who's the king? Right. Who's the king? Right. What color is he? Right. What color is he? Right. What color is he? Right. What club was that at? <laughs> <laughs> Admit that uh, a lot of people don't even realize they- I've called her, she hasn't responded. I've called her more than a few times. But the Zulu nation, I'm like, what the hell is this? I know nobody know what I'm talking about. You'll leave me on the island by myself. I don't know what the hell Bishop's talking about. <laughs> That's what y'all do. <laughs> then after class, yeah, I know what you're talking about. I just don't want to be caught out there. The hell is this? Get on my damn nerves. So read that again, 31. What is the nation? Nation is men leading by example. Nation is family. Nation 
is community. Mason's children with robots.